I'm Karen Tumulty, and here are my debate prep tips for you, President Obama. First, go for that pithy quote that will make it into every newspaper and play over and over again on television, like you did with this one. You know, I, I think it is important for us to be as careful getting out as we were careless getting in. Second lesson, be ready for some of the things that you said as a candidate to come back to haunt you. For instance, your administration is now seen as one of the least transparent in modern history. So how might you square that with what you said four years ago? Not releasing, I think, these records. At the same time, Hillary, as you're making the claim that this is the basis for your experience, I think is a problem. Third, beware the cheap shot. As Bob Dole once said of his own performance in a debate, I went for the jugular, my own. That's what you did here in what may have been your worst debate moment ever. I don't think I'm that bad. Um, uh, you're likable no. enough. Thank Hillary, you so much. <laughs> Fourth, don't be afraid to show some passion. While I was working on those streets, watching those folks see their jobs shipped overseas, you were a corporate lawyer sitting on the board of Walmart. I was fighting these fights. Fifth, remember, this election is about the voters, and that's where you need to keep the focus. You know, I, I wouldn't point to a single moment uh, and what I look at is the trajectory of my life. Take a look at how then-Senator Hillary Clinton got the best of you when asked to talk about a moment of personal crisis. Because with all of the challenges that I've had, they are nothing compared to what I see happening in the lives of Americans every single day. Sixth, anticipate the setup like you did with this one over how much, hypothetically, Joe the Plumber would pay in fines if he didn't buy insurance under your health care plan. Now, Senator Obama, I'd like, still like to know what that fine's going to be. And I'm happy to talk to you, Joe, too, if you're out there. Uh, here's your fine. Zero. Uh, you won't pay zero? a fine because zero. So, Mr. President, you've done this before. And those lessons from your past are going to come in handy for doing your best this time around.